Hi everybody, I'm Ralph and I like music and blinking lights. A few weeks ago I bought this synthesizer kit on Amazon.com and wanted to build it for quite some time now. But then I thought I might just as well do it in front of a camera for the benefit of the YouTube community. It's a complete kit with a case and detailed instructions. On the back of the package, the publisher makes quite bold claims. Revive the sound of the 80s. Do you remember Axel F, the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack? Aha's Take on Me, or the songs by the German band Kraftwerk? This retro modem, I don't know why they call it a modem. The mini keyboard of the 80s allows you to revive the music in modern style. Uh, with a completed synthesizer, you can generate classical sounds as well as futuristic music. Um, the kit comprises all required components. Even with low mechanical skills, you can build the synthesizer swiftly and easily. We'll certainly see about that. All right then, let's see what's inside. So here are all the components. The pre-built PCB with all surface mount components soldered in place. Four push buttons, two LEDs, a loudspeaker, a potentiometer and a knob plus mounting hardware, some length of wire, a battery case, bolts and nuts to mount the PCB to the cardboard case. A construction slash user manual in Deutsch and English. The synthesizer is based on an HT46F47E microcontroller by Holtec that I've never heard of. It's possible that the publisher chose an uncommon device to prevent anyone from reverse engineering their product, but to be honest, I think there's little risk of that happening anyway. Why this is so becomes clear later in this video. I just noticed that the cutout in the case is not large enough to expose all the keypads, so I'll have to extend the hole. Also, the holes for the octave and halftone buttons are missing, so I'll have to begin by extending those holes. Alright then, let's get started.
wow, that is awesome. Can you believe it? Well, don't. This is what the synth sounds like in reality. It's really just a square wave beeper and quite a disappointment, to be honest. The buttons on the panel provide minimal sound shaping. There's one button to cycle through 10 speed levels of tremolo. The other one, falsely labeled envelope, offers 10 speed levels of vibrato. So, does it hold up to the claims made on the package? You know, sounds of the 80s and all? Let's see, shall we? I think that speaks for itself, and don't blame it on my finger poking. In any case, it's a shame they didn't put more effort into the kit, considering that you can get quite sophisticated sounds out of an Arduino plus a few extra components. If you want to know more, be sure to check back for future videos. As for this kit, the verdict is clear. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more music and blinking lights.